Good morning everybody. Welcome to Rhino Exploration. My name is Zach and today we are in the garage and what we're going to be doing is reviewing the Gazelle T4 Hub Tent. So stay tuned guys. So, like I said at the beginning, we are going to do a review on this tent. I have had it for oh, about a year now. <laughs> I've had this tent for a year, but I've only been using it the past two and a half months, but I figured I'd do a kind of a one and a half month, two month review kind of thing with you guys. Just how it's performing so far, what I think, the pros and cons about it, and just kind of go from there. We will do another review on this from the long term, but just one of those, what is my, you know, kind of initial impressions of having, after been using this tent for a couple months now, you know, just how has it been performing? So to start, this is the Gazelle T4 Hub Tent. It is their one in their green, and it has been an awesome tent. I'm gonna start with that. It has been a great tent. Let's let's be real, lots of people have these tents just like I said when I first got the tent and did a review on it with you guys here in the garage. But lots of people have this tent and they love it. And I, honestly, I don't have a lot to complain about. There are a few cons to this tent, but there are not a lot. Um, one other thing I'm gonna start with is, like always, we are in the garage, it is open, so we have light. And lots of people like to come driving in and out of the neighborhood, so there may be some car noise, just so you guys are aware. But back to the tent. This tent has worked amazingly. I have used it a number of times and I just, honestly guys, I love it. This is the best ground tent I have had so far in my life. Um, and it beats sleeping on the cold hard ground, which I have done that too underneath a little tarp. It's not the greatest thing. <laughs> Trust me, it's not the greatest thing. It's raining, is it new? Car. But this has been a great tent and I'm just going to kind of jump into kind of my pros and cons because I've already described to you guys, ooh, hitting water bottles, I've already described to you guys the, you know, kind of the information about the tent when I first got it. You can find that information out there. I'm not going to beat a dead horse because there's tons and tons of information out there. Some of my things I absolutely love, so let's go with the pros first. I love how fast it is to set up and take down this tent. Literally, I can get the camp, pull this out, take it out of the bag, and it is up within 30 seconds. And add another maybe 15 seconds for putting the rain fly on, and it's about 45 seconds, and this tent is completely erect and ready to be used. And I love it. And taking it down is just as easy. You take off the rain fly, you push down the top and all the sides collapse in and it is down in less than 30 seconds. And then packing it up and putting it back in this bag is super, super easy, guys. I cannot explain how fast and easy for a ground tent this is to set up. I know lots of people with rooftop tents, they love them because, you know, a couple latches, they flip it up and it's up, it's erect, it's great. For a ground tent, it's kind of the same thing. You just pull it out, undo it, poof, it's up. And that is awesome. I love the fact I'm not fiddling with poles and things like that and the rain flies super easy. You toss it over top, stick it in the things and push it up the top and it's the, the rain flies erect. And it is a pretty tight fit with that rain fly. So how has this thing been working in the various weathers? Because I have been in this in snow, rain, and wind. <laughs> and let me tell you, it works really really well now i did waterproof this tent you guys saw me waterproof it in the introduction video to it and i am so thankful i did because one of the first trips i really used this on up in moab it rained hard it did rain hard one of the nights and not a single drop of rain got into the tent which was awesome the only moisture i've ever had in the tent is from when i was running the mr buddy heater 
up in Flagstaff and just, you know, something about propane heaters and breathing, you know, breathing at night, it just creates condensation. But otherwise, I've had no rain get in here or snow. I've had quite a bit of snow on top of this and it never felt like it was going to pop the top down or anything like that. It was super, super sturdy. Now, when it comes to the wind, for the most part, general wind, so anything under like 25 mile an hour winds, this thing is great. It doesn't rustle, it really doesn't move at all, and it is just, honestly, in the wind, it is a really comfortable place to sleep and be just because it doesn't shake and move like most modern tents. However, you get over 25 mile an hour winds up into the 30s or higher, like anything, this thing starts to shake and move. However, unlike a traditional tent, which would start leaning sideways on you, this doesn't lean sideways. It just starts to rustle really, really bad. So it's not really leaning sideways and it doesn't feel like anything's going to collapse. It just, you can feel it and hear it move. And honestly, it's not that bad when you think about it, comparing it to other tents, but when it comes down to it, it is a little annoying. <laughs> There's a whole story behind that that you guys will have heard already from, from my trip from when I was exploring down in Southern California, trying to come home, getting stuck in a dust storm and everything like that. The tent worked really, really well to a degree because the wind got so bad. The fact that it erects real easy is one of the amazing things and it is super sturdy, like I've said, with all the weather. And honestly, once you put stuff in this thing, you don't really need to stake down the tent because it's not going anywhere. I can tell you right now. The other thing I love about this tent is it fits my uh, air mattress, my Lost Horizon sleeping mattress, really, really well, and there's still room. Now, don't get me wrong, it takes up about three quarters of the tent just because it is like a twin size air mattress, it takes up a good portion of the tent. However, there is enough space for me to put things and move around. You all have seen what my tent setup looks like. I think I showed you guys all that in Moab. And it is just, it becomes a really comfortable place to be. And, you know, it feels great when you're out there camping. When I was in Flagstaff, it was amazing. Now, this tent does get a little cold. It's not an insulated tent in any form. So you do need to have a heater or a heated blanket, something of that nature to keep you warm. But I can tell you that once you turn on the Mr. Buddy heater or a, a diesel heater, if that's what you have, it just heats up that tent like that. And it is super, super comfortable. Like it just keeps it warm and nice. And you never, because you know, you put the rain fly on top, but it still has that screen. It does have a nice mixture of cool and warm air. And you never truly feel super hot. There's only been one time where I was like, I feel way too warm and I think it's because I had way too many blankets on top of me in the process, but it does feel super, super nice. The other things that I really like are the zippers work really well. They're super sturdy. I've had no rips in the tent. It has been holding up tremendously. Like the zippers haven't acted like they're going to break or anything. There's no holes in the tent from pulling it up, taking it down, moving it around. And the other thing I really like is this bag. This tent fits perfectly in this bag. It never feels like I'm struggling to get it in the bag. And the zippers and the whole bag itself holds up super, super well. Like I am very happy that this bag holds up the way it does because a lot of times you get a tent, like a ground tent, and you start sticking it in and out of the bag, the bag eventually rips or falls apart. This doesn't, and I don't feel like I'm trying to wedge the tent in here. And the rain fly folds up super easily and it sits in there. So, what could my cons be? <laughs> From everything you've heard, it works great, it holds up really well, and from the beginning I told you I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it. But there are a few, and they're kind of nitpicky kind of things, but they're just things that over time, they could become a problem. Now one thing, I told you the zippers work great, and they hold up really well. However, when you are zipping it up, there is a flap that kind of covers up the door a little bit on certain spots on the inside and the outside it kind of you know protects things from getting to get in if you have it open and it, the zipper likes to catch on that spot a lot 
and my fear is is that it'll rip because at night if you're trying to open the tent to get out or if you're trying to get in it doesn't you know anyway it kind of just automatically catches it doesn't have that nice curve into it it just you start and it catches onto that and you kind of have to either pull it back down or you have to you know move the flap or pull it out and then unzip it the rest of the way it's not a big deal but it catches on both doors every single time and it, it literally is just that flap and it's whether you're going from the inside out or the outside in, it just catches on those flaps and it's a little annoying because I'm afraid you know I just don't want it to rip uh, the other con the other con about this tent that I have hesitations with is the flooring of the tent now I have no rips in the tent like I said it's been holding up very well but that material just doesn't feel super, super strong. Like, I, I feel like, because I've had this over top of some little rocks, you get into the pine forest, like I did in Flagstaff, there's pine cones, you can only clear only so much stuff out of the way, and then you put it on there. I'm That bottom doesn't feel super, super strong, and in the foreseeable future, I might get a tarp to stick on it, to stick down first and place this on top just to kind of protect it, but that, that bottom doesn't feel strong. It feels very thin and like you could easily put a hole through it. Now it hasn't happened yet and it may just be the feeling of it, but just from my perspective, I have that fear that a hole is gonna get poked in the bottom of this tent. And then the only other real complaint I have is just the bag. Now I love this bag, the bag is super strong. Big diesel truck, sorry. This bag is super strong and it is padded at this end, which is super great when you stick, kinda when you collapse the tent while the poles kinda stick up here and you can stick it in on this end. I wish it was kind of padded on the far end over here because when you stick it in, though all the pulls are there, you still have the part of the tent that when you collapse it up, all the pulls on the, that pop out the tent are, though they're wedged up with all the canvas of the tent, it still kind of pokes it when you start putting this in your rig, depending on where you're putting it. Like for me, it sits between the two doors, long, you know, long ways behind the driver's seat. It fits nicely, but I don't want to put a hole in this bag. But that's about it, guys. Like, this tent is amazing. I have nothing really, like, horrendous to say about this tent. It works great as a ground tent. It's super easy to put up. It fits in a lot of places. Now, this tent, because it is the T4, and they have even bigger tents, you do have to have a little bit of space when you're erecting this tent. <laughs> like, you got to find a nice little chunk of space so when you pull this thing out, because when you, you're looking, you go, oh, that looks big enough, and then you pop up the tent, you're like, oh, it's not. So you gotta have a little bit more space, but not a ton. Um, but this tent works super, super well, guys. I have zero complaints, and I'm gonna be using this the whole rest of the year, and probably into most of the next year before I get to the point where I'm getting a rooftop tent, because uh, that is the goal one day. But for now, this tent is working fabulous, and I love the way it goes up in my setup with the tent and it's just down to a key. Um, if you guys would like to find this tent, you can go to the you know, Gazelle Tent website. There will be a link in the description that will take you right to the site and a link that will take you right to this tent. Uh, they are not a sponsor of the channel, um, but I really like this tent, guys, and it is a great alternative for a ground tent if you don't have a rooftop tent. Just because, though it is long, like this is hanging off my little table, and it kind of takes up a bit of space in the rig. It is completely worth it because it's so easy to put up and it holds up really well to all these weather conditions. Well guys, I know it was a bit of a shorter video. I just wanted to give you guys kind of my initial review on this tent after a couple months because it has been working great and I know a lot of people, they're always hesitant about buying certain things even though they read all the good reviews and things because this thing has tons of good reviews, but you get it, you want to test it, and this is just, you know, first couple months review. We will do long-term reviews as, you know, I'll keep using it and the months go by because we got tons and tons of adventures. But thank you for joining me in the garage today, guys. If you are new to the channel or haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a goal of hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we are working towards that goal. Also, if you haven't checked out some of our other social media platforms, Go ahead and check them out. You'll find links down in the description below. And like always, if you'd like to help help me on my adventures and with what I do, you can go ahead and hit the Patreons link down below. Anything you guys would like to contribute, I greatly appreciate it. It helps 
find me, it all helps me on my adventures, pays for the gas, things like that, so I can take you guys with me and go to these incredible places. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll catch you all next time. Mm -hmm.